Okay guys, so what we're going to be making is a pickling brine that you can pickle vegetables with, really anything. I'm going to be pickling some vegetables for salads, um, anything. I put pickled vegetables in a wide variety of things and I sometimes buy them on my own but I do like to make them myself. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add about a cup of water, a half a cup of vinegar. You're going to add some black pepper. And really, you're going to do this to taste. So whatever your taste is, go ahead on and do that. This is also going to be a spicy, um, a spicy pickle. A little bit of garlic. I'm not going to use too much garlic, just a, just a little bit. Also, like I said, it's going to be spicy, so a little bit of red pepper flake, a little bit of parsley. That's my own personal flavor. If you don't like the parsley, don't use it. A good amount of salt. Now, when you pickle anything, you do need to put a good amount of salt in it because essentially what you're doing is preserving vegetables. You're also going to add a little bit of sugar in, and I would say about a tablespoon of sugar because you, you want to offset that saltiness with a little bit of sweetness. And if you have this, use it. It's not essential. I have some whole black peppercorns. I'm going to throw that in. Now, all you want to do is bring this to a simmer, not a hard boil, just a simmer. And once this comes to a simmer, you're going to pour it over top all of your vegetables. These are the vegetables that I'm going to be pickling. You can use any vegetable you want. This is what I have on hand, and these are the things that I personally like to eat pickled. So first, we have two carrots um, cut into strips, and I just cut them in thirds and then cut them in strips. Two celery sticks cut into strips. One large um, English seedless cucumber cut up. Um, I did not remove the skins. That's a personal choice. I also prefer the English cucumbers because in my area, the regular American cucumbers seem to always be soft and sometimes bitter. Also, the seeds are too big and I always end up having to de-seed them. These seeds are so small and soft, I don't mind eating them. But if you wanna use a different kind of cucumber, feel free. The English cucumber, though, works really well in the pickling. And some cauliflower. Now, my cauliflower was frozen, so I just dumped it into a, um, some boiling water for about a minute just to soften it up a little bit, but I don't want it to be mushy. If I would personally, um, on a better day, use fresh cauliflower, but the frozen cauliflower works well. Just remember, if it is frozen, either defrost it or just dunk it into some boiling water. Don't cook this because if you cook it too much, it's going to get soft. So, I'll show you everything once it's combined. See you guys in a few. Okay guys, so once your liquid has cooled, find any kind of jar and this is just a old pickle jar that I have. I, I always keep my jars and I just layered my vegetables in here and I let my mixture cool just a little bit, not a lot. It's still pretty warm, but layer your vegetables as you want. Pour the warm liquid over top of them and close it. Once you have it closed, give it a really good shake so that all of the ingredients and all of the spices get all the way through. Now, right now, it's pretty thick and filled to the top because none of the vegetables have shrunk. As this cools and the, it sits, these vegetables are going to shrink. Um, you can double and triple this recipe, and I would advise doing that if you made as many vegetables as I did because I had to do two jars and make extra liquid because the other one didn't fill up the second jar. So... Let this cool completely because right now it's pretty warm to the touch. You don't want to put this in the fridge and the glass burst. So just leave it out on your counter. Let it cool all the way down. Once it's cool, stick this into the fridge for no less than three hours. Um, 
the longer you keep it in the fridge the better it is going to taste but you need to keep it in the fridge at least three hours so hope you guys enjoy rate subscribe bye